be like that. And it's like plant and it's like flight at the same time. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm making uh, wings. This feels to me like that, you know, segmented radius of like a wing or something like that. No, I don't know, I don't know, it, it's like a, I hadn't looked at the back and all of a sudden the back became so beautiful that I thought, you know, sometimes it has happened that the back has become the front. But you, you, get, you get cocky because the first one went together so perfect I thought I was a genius, but I'm humbled again. Coffee time. Without coffee, I'm useless. I don't like this stuff. Trader Joe's coffee. Very bad. You gotta suffer to make good art. Liquid motivation. This is how you go 12 rounds in the art studio. We're on round six. And that's the, that's how they, one is born out of the other. The, the wall begins with an iris that, the, in the first piece in the first wall is an iris that tells you to, to start to focus in a different way. That you have to go into a, a new space with a new kind of an idea. And then you end up with this idea of sort of, I think it is, it's kind of a s statement of, of metamorphosis and cyclic and you know that that the, that that things are born out of the things that precede them anyways i think it's fantastic and of course nature which is what baroda really is it's you're living in a in a in a in a shelter in an oasis and i think this is a fabulous symbol for the oasis that it is hello yes surrender S-U-R-R-E-N-D-E-R. -R -E -E no, S-U-R-R-E-N-D-E-R. -R -E -E I'm the uh, dictionary for a Brazilian wife. You want to know how to spell surrender. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, when your lover calls you and says, sweetheart, how do you spell surrender? Your day is made, right? Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't matter what she wanted it for. She gave you the word. Yeah, right. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine leaves. One, two, three. Just give me a good tack. All right, that looks good. That, that, doesn't that feel like the wind's just blowing that leaf straight out? <laughs> <laughs> that is the best, best interview quiz I've ever heard in my life. What don't you want to say, Mr. Smith? What don't you want to tell me? <laughs> yeah, what don't you want to be on camera? Well, what did you say? You can feel your career what? Uh, I think it's happening. I, 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 I have this little rumbling of elation and excitement, you know, and, and I'm not bipolar, but I, I have this sense that, you know what? I can see all the doors opening. You know, it's just to say, it's a magic moment right now. So you gotta, you gotta play, you gotta, every piece has its idiosyncrasies, right? So I gotta like, paw this thing for a half an hour to figure out what's the top and what's the bottom. But I've discovered it's male. To be reinforced, huh? Now, does she fit? Oh my God, am I good? We're, we're all Picasso, man. Picasso just... 
He was there when the train arrived. Number tree. And of course, this is going to be patina. This is bronze. Tell Tom you're going to be an artist too. Tom, I'm going to be an artist. Uh, or maybe an opera singer. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <Isn't she cute? laughs> Look at this. This girl is just walking right now. These are her first steps. Ah. Stand up. Walk to my hands. Come here. Come on. Opa. Opa. I have a different energy. I think that's going to really... Uh, uh, that's going to really manifest itself. I'm, I'm, I'm the wild man in this picture now. And I did, you know, it's funny because that always made me nervous. But now I understand that that's, that's my role. So uh, outside of that, I was just blown away how you guys ended up with the cover. This is funny. What? What's so funny about it? <laughs> just have to... What? What? I just did. My wife just sort of like. Uh, you know, in the morning, this morning, decided she had to leave, leave me with the kids, and I have you here. I have these guys with their checks paid. It's psycho. As long as I don't put one too many zeros, I'm okay. It should attract a lot of bees. Look like a giant flower in the springtime. Yeah. Yeah. normally uh, prepare it, you know, but I, I, we have eaten it. Yeah. Then I'm fighting the gophers too, because they love the cactus. You see at the base of this one, it's uh, this agave. Yeah. You see how the fresh dirt's underneath it? Yeah. They're, they're eating the root. And you see underneath that one as well? Uh -huh. So they're going at it. The, the only thing that saves them is that when the agaves get to a certain size, they sort of... Uh, uh, grow roots faster than the gophers will actually eat them. But when they're small, the gophers will kill them. So there's a, I, but I don't kill the gophers. I just figured, you know. It's all part of nature. Lose some of them and win some That's of them. That's a neat tree with that bark. Yeah. Let's see, this is how big it is. And then she has her girlfriend. Actually, these are two ladies who are trying to bid for the same piece. I think I th they do hate each other. They've always hated each other. And yet, I think the red lady is really going to go for it. She's not going to take no for an answer. She's taking this piece home. Don't you? Now, I had a, a really cool guy. It was the doctor, we called him, because he had like a doctor smock and everything. And he was the owner of about uh, 10 or 15 maquettes. I'd put him in like an astroturf standing in front of these things, in front of like a cityscape behind it. It was so unbelievable. I'm expecting magic, you know, that's the weird part. Some magical sensation occur, then all of a sudden everything makes sense. It's like everything comes together. I bet it's going to happen. Do you want to call somebody else? I'll just hold that in too. Yeah, um, uh, Louis. Go crazy places. There's, There's only one, there. There's, There's only one. Yeah. Pin? Yeah. It's just okay. uh, to anchor it, and then we can, they can right. rotate it come away in the location. The so, oh, God, this looks so Stop. good. <sighs> You're, we're okay to start this. I think in some of them, I might make a little note on it to rise. I, I, I feel I feel like it's starting to become jello. You know when it starts to solidify. We're not jello yet. It's it's getting there. Do people still eat jello? Do you eat jello? 
Hey, Jello. When you have little kids, you eat Jello. You finish Jello. You don't start Jello. Okay. Um, you got two inches off the wall. Yeah, but once you once you level it out, right? It wasn't level. Yes, it was yeah, not level. yeah. Okay. okay. Take it off the wall. Yeah, that's 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 just gorgeous. <laughs> Can you feel it? One, two, all three are on. Okay, wiggle it. I, th I feel like we're making history right now. I, I mean, I, not to get all meglo and everything, it's just so beautiful. Look at those shadows. My God, it's just really singing. <sighs> I was up in the office yesterday and had Liz check when the first check was written for this, which was in November of 2003. And here we are in the middle of 2005, so it's been a year and a half that this has taken to be delivered to us. And just wonder, you know, about the process and how long it was taking and essentially how much time happened in his life before he actually even really started on this. And I'm happy finally that it's here, delivered and it's finally being installed. Now, of course, the starting point was the date that we knew what we were making. Because we didn't know what we were making for several months. <laughs> you ready? Thursday, November 13th, 2003. 11 a.m. Sculpture meeting. Pretty cool. That was so great. That was just great. And then I looked to my book, all of 2004, nothing. See? Because <laughs> I was in the kitchen. I know, cooking. <laughs> oh my god. Put one on? Yeah. Don't be get those people too excited, man. This one you actually probably don't even have set it in. It. It's so funny to experience this in the real world because I've I've looked at them uh, very flat on the computer screen for for a, a year. And, and then I know every space between every piece, and I'm, I'm used to seeing the pieces breathe. And from this angle, the, the beam, you know, slides right into the house. And I thought, my God, they missed the space. And then I walked over and I see the space is exactly as I planned it, but I'm not used to seeing it from a perspective. This color is so perfect. Nobody looks down on Brad. No, man. I don't have enough time to take a shower, so I'm going to go buy Pollo Loco and get a couple of those towelettes. Do a quick little Pollo Loco bath before I get in there. Just use the chicken juice, right? yeah, I try, try not to grab any fries on the way out. Yeah. That's a set screws deep in there, huh? Matt's going to me, and Charles can set some screws too. Okay. Let's go look at something else. The tree. We're, we're good. 42 and a half. To 46? Yeah. We'll, we'll okay. make it work. Okay, we'll make great. that work. So, I'm okay being that tight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, um, I definitely have a feeling that everybody's enjoying themselves because it's going well. You know, it's, it's a beautiful thing when you get like 10 people together to work on a project and everything's working so everybody feels like you know they're in a they're in a good space and great things are happening i got that feeling it's almost a giddiness i can feel it i don't think i've ever seen a project like this before you know it almost it's like a it's like one artist's body of work you know like what an, what an artist would produce in like 10 years you know if you just sort of put together an exhibition of a body of work
the wall is uh, is is bigger than I could ever have ima imagined it, and the work really uh, really fills it. It's it's rich. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. I know that, but it's a very rich story. And for people who like a good story, they're going to enjoy this wall. So I'm happy. See ya.